Hey everyone, welcome into Siren Records Monterey. It's Fresh Catch Friday. And if you're new to the channel, hi and welcome in. And this is where a channel where we talk about the new releases that came out today, Friday, um, on uh, new releases, reissues and represses. And there's a list down below that has everything in pretty alphabetical order with prices. Now, uh, the stuff that we're talking about today, you'll probably find some extras on that list, but we have to keep it moving. We um, are trying to always make that uh, the easiest for people to hang in there and actually watch, okay? So we always start out with a pick of the week. And my pick for you this week is Queens of the Stone Age in Times New Roman. This is a double LP and it's on Matador and uh, this is their eighth studio album. It's still very, it's raw, brutal and rough around the edges, but it's very refined also at the same time. And um, that reveals itself the more you listen to it. Um, founder Josh Ami's lyrics, they're witty and withering as ever, and the results, they're instantly and identifiable. Uh, it's got their sonic signature expanded and embellished with like new and unprecedented twists in virtually every song. Um, it's a live, live in a room recording that showcases the band at the height of their creative powers. And this is a party for uh, the obscene, the clean, the outcasts and the weirdos and anyone and everyone in between. So one of the most important bands in recent rock history is back and it's no exaggeration to call this album a devastating rebirth. And you get your choice of this on, okay, red vinyl. Uh, here we go on translucent blue vinyl on green vinyl and silver vinyl. And we also brought in a couple of pieces of just straight up black vinyl for you purists. And you can also get it on CD if you feel so inclined. Okay, so definitely worth your time. Pick of the week, man. Just the impossibly handsome Josh Homme is at it again. Okay, but I digress. Let's move. Um, this is Coldplay and it's a uh, Prospects March. Um, Eco. Okay, this is on the Atlantic label, and this is an eco vinyl repressing of the 2008 EP featuring eight tracks, um, including a special guest appearance from Jay Z on the new version of Lost Plus, plus a vocal version of the now classic Life in Technicolor 2, and an alternative mix of Lovers in Japan. Okay, and that's just like a straight up black vinyl. Okay, then we have a reissue of J. Cole. Um, this is Born a Sinner. This is a double, and it's uh, the second studio album by rapper and producer J. Cole. It was released 10 years ago in June of 2013. So Born Sinner um, features standout tracks, including Power Trip with Miguel, Crooked Smile, Forbidden Fruit, and She Knows. Uh, so the album peaked at number one on the Billboard 200 and is now certified double platinum by the RIAA. So yeah, that's here for you now too. Okay, this is Jackson Dean and it's live at the Ryman. And uh, this is on Big Machine and it's fast rising country singer songwriter Jackson Dean. He's quickly earning a uh, reputation for his gritty lyric driven outlaw country style um, and eclectic um, live shows in um, October of 2022, the artist to watch made his uh, Ryman Auditorium debut here. Wowed the crowd with a spellbinding eight song set, which will um, live on forever with the Live at the Ryman. So uh, to the delight of many fans who have seen his live show, uh, the, collab the collection will debut the standout track, Heavens to Betsy. This comes to you on black iced translucent vinyl. And you know, I can't really tell from the photo what is so um, black ice about it, but that's what they're calling it, so but let it be. Okay, this is finally the physical copy version of Mac DiMarco, Five Easy Hot Dogs, and this is on uh, Mac's record label, um, the fifth studio album by this Canadian musician, Mac DiMarco, and it's a departure from his previous studio albums in his discography. Um, this album is entirely instrumental. And it was recorded during a road trip from Los Angeles to New York. Um, you won't find much uh, of the excitement and the mythology of American road trips on this. It's uh, just feeling the feeling of being stuck between destinations and not being totally sure of where you're going. I don't know if this is going to be a real crowd pleaser uh, for most Mac DeMarco fans for, you know, but, but it's something different. And so um, I think it was released in January on 
you know, digital platforms and all that. But anyway, now you can have the physical release on vinyl. Okay. Then we have Django Django, uh, Off Planet Parts 1 through 4, and this is from Because Music. Um, Off Planet, it's the fifth studio release from Django Django. Um, uh, it's a 21-track album split into four parts and originally destined to be four experimental EPs, um, but immediately transformed into a proper album when they started the recording session. So Off Planet features some of the most exciting and dynamic music that Django Django have ever produced, um, uh, harking back to more of their experimental and electronic roots. So the album also features guests such as Self Esteem, Jack Panette, and others. Now you get, it's a double, so you get two LPs on white vinyl with this one. Okay, now this is uh, pretty extraordinary. This is Drive By Truckers, The Complete Dirty South. And uh, this is on New West Records. Now in 2004, the Drive By Truckers released what would become the best-selling album in their illustrious catalog, The Dirty South is a concept album that examines the state of the South and unveils the hypocrisy, irony, and tragedy that continues to exist. So um, the album features live show staples like Tornadoes, Where the Devil Don't Stay, and Putting People on the Moon, as well as rarities like Goods Field Road and Daddy's Cup. So the complete Dirty South is a band-led rework of the original album, and principal member Patterson Hood took the reins and reimagined um, this record as it was originally intended. And the complete version features resequenced audio, three additional tracks, four remixes, along with updated vocals. The packaging comes with a perfect bound 32 page book featuring liner notes from Patterson Hood and uh, track by track de descriptions from Mike Cooley and Jason Isbell as well as uh, never before seen photos uh, along with updated artwork from the late Wes Freed and uh, this is what they're calling on repos reposado marbled vinyl or CD. Now, reposado is tequila. So, you know, it's kind of, I'm imagining that vinyl, it's a marbled reposado marbled. So it's probably kind of got a yellowish tinge to it, I'm thinking, okay? And I think that on the CD, um, let me see, I believe that you actually get a 48 page booklet with this and liner notes and uh, never before seen photos and updated art. Okay, and then the, the extra the extra tracks here too. Okay, so you can get that one both ways and uh, I think a lot of people will be pretty happy about that. Okay, this is Flaming Lips Hypnotist on Warner Brothers and it's the centerpiece of the LP is the 24 minute epic psychedelic hypnotist <laughs> hypnotist hypnotist daydream it's a demo and uh three other tracks from the cd box that are included on this um also receiving their first release on lp notably the instrumental version of do you realize over 32 minutes of music pressed on limited edition pink vinyl and it does tell you that on the sticker okay this is Robert Glasper in my element and this is um, part of that Blue Note classic series it's two LPs on the Blue Note label um, Robert Glasper's 20, 2005 Blue Note debut canvas signaled the arrival of a singular new voice in jazz and his 2007 follow-up um, in my element has solidified his status as a rising star who's taking the music um, someplace new. So featuring Vincente Archer on bass and Damian Reed on drums, it expanded the possibilities of where modern jazz might go by delving further into his hip hop and gospel roots. So Blue Note Classic Vinyl Series is an all analog mastering from the original tapes and pressed on 180 gram vinyl. Okay. All right, this also, we have Government Mule, Peace Like a River, and this is on the fantasy label. Um, it's the band's 12th studio album, a follow-up to their chart-topping Grammy-nominated blues-heavy album called Heavy Load Blues. So the 12-song rock collection also features guest appearances from Billy Bob Thornton, Celise, and Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Um, Peace Like a River is a welcome addition with Warren Haynes and his band and their guests bringing their distinctive voices and their well-trod, well-loved breed of blues rock. Um, long live the mule. Anyway, limited edition indie exclusive 2LP set on 180 gram orange and red smoke vinyl. And it does tell you that on the sticker, which we're always very thankful for. 
Okay, this is a reissue of Lil' Kim Hardcore, and this is from the Atlantic Catalog Group. Now, um, Hardcore is the debut studio album from American rapper Lil' Kim, and um, it was released in November of 1996. It was originally supposed to be called Queen Bee, according to one of her 1996 interviews, but um, after achieving success with the hip-hop group Junior Mafia and their album Conspiracy in 1995, Kim began working on her solo album with, the, with Notorious B.I.G. and serving as the executive producer, but he also um, he performed on four of the songs on this album. And this is limited edition, what they're calling Champagne on Ice Vinyl. And uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of sort of this kind of golden color that's on that bare rug, but um, anyway, there you have it. Okay, now we have Andrew McMahon in the wilderness. This is called Tilt at the Wind No More. This is on network records. Now, one pocket gatefold with a printed sleeve. It, it's accomplished singer-songwriter Andrew McMahon. He continues his solo work for his project, Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness, with the um, introspective album Tilt at the Wind No More. So it's an 11-song record. Um, represents a reflection of everything that Andrew has learned um, during his music career and throughout his life so far. Um, though it is steeped in nostalgia and optimism for the future above all else, Andrew wanted to make this record sound transportive. He says, I wanted people to be able to put on their headphones and hear a universe in these songs. I think we pushed hard to make this music really adventurous. Okay, so this is on 180 gram neon yellow vinyl. Okay, then we have Pat Metheny, Dream Box, and this is also um, a double LP, and this is on Modern Recordings, so it comprises nine uh, found tracks for quiet electric guitar. Metheny describes it as a unique recording for me. It is essentially a compilation of solo tracks recorded across a few years that I only discovered while listening on tour. So Metheny has recorded some 50 albums and won 20 Grammys in 12 different categories. And it was while on one of his many tours that the guitarist began rummaging through recordings to compile Dreambox. And um, some of them, the tracks, he said that he didn't even remember recording them. So it was just finding like fresh music. So anyway, now you can hear it. Okay, this is Michelle Nadeghi Ocello. This is the Omnicord Real Book on Blue Note. Um, this is, uh, she's an acclaimed Grammy winning multi-instrumentalist, singer and songwriter, and she makes her Blue Note Records debut here on this one. And a visionary and deeply jazzed influenced album um, that marks the start of a new chapter in her trailblazing career. Uh, following her 2018 covers album, Ventriloquism, Michelle returns with an album of new material and taps into a broad spectrum of her musical roots. Um, two LPs and I believe that's just on um, black vinyl okay all right this hefty thing is uh, the Pet Shop Boys smash whoo and uh, the singles 1985 to 2020 uh, 2023 remaster and this is six LPs inside here it's through Rhino Parlophone so it's the brand new complete collection of Pet Shop Boys singles uh, from across 35 years of the duo's acclaimed career. Um, the package includes all Pet Shop Boys hits, starting with their debut single, West End Girls, and continuing through such iconic tracks as Love Comes Quickly, It's a Sin, Always on My Mind, Being Boring, Suburbia, Opportunities, What Have I Done to Deserve This, Rent, and Heart. And hit singles released between 1993 to 2003 include Go West, uh, New York City Boy, Can You Forgive Her? I don't know what you want, but you can't give it anymore, and uh, Single Bilingual. While songs released in the most recent period of their uh, career, they include The Pop Kids, Monkey Business, Dreamland, Love Etc., I'm With Stupid, Vocal, and their most recent single, I Don't Wanna. Okay, so you can get these all here in one collection. Big hefty box set. Oh man, that's nice. Okay. This is the Rolling Stones' big, big hits in High Tide and Green Grass, and this is actually the mono version here. And it's released in 1966. It was the first hits compilation album uh, from the Rolling Stones. Uh, the U.S. edition contains 12 of their hits, including the number one singles, 
uh, can't get no satisfaction and get off of my cloud. So this is a 180 gram vinyl LP and a gatefold jacket with a booklet featuring eight pages of color photos. All right. Now we've got a couple of uh, Scorpions reissues. Um, this is through BMG Rights Management for both of these. And they are um, part of the first 12 Scorpions Colors of Rock editions. Um, this first one is the Tokyo Tapes. And it's the first live album by the Scorpions and their final album released by RCA Records. Um, Tokyo Tapes included songs from all Scorpions albums released before 1978, um, which were recorded at Nankano Sun Plaza on April 24th and 27th during the band's Japanese tour in 1978. Um, these shows were guitarist Yuli John Roth's last performances with the band, who had announced his departure after the release of the studio album Taken by Force. And this is two LPs on yellow vinyl. They're saying that it's a, you know, a 180 gram heavyweight in a soft touch sleeve. I don't really know what they're talking about because this feels just like a regular sleeve to me so i'm not really sure what they're meaning by that okay so the second one that i have for you is virgin killer and this was the fourth studio album by scorpions and it was released in 1976 and was the band's first album to attract attention outside of europe so the title is described as being a reference to time as the killer of innocence so um, this is on what they're calling sky blue vinyl. It's sort of like a, a, a picture of sky blue being a little more pale. This is kind of a deeper uh, turquoisey blue, I think, but there you go. And I think that Entrance is also supposed to be released coming up maybe next week or on the back, of, back end of things anyway. Sturgill Simpson, High Top Mountain on High Top Mountain Records, a 10 year anniversary edition of Sturgill Simpson's debut from High Top Mountain. Uh, the anniversary edition includes updated artwork and is pressed on translucent black vinyl. Um, I don't know what translucent black vinyl looks like, but it's uh, noted on the sticker here. And this part, Sturgill Simpson, it's like raised, so it's embossed on this cover. But yeah, the reissue of High Top Mountain. Okay, this is actually um, Cat, Cat Stevens, or Yusuf, if you're calling him that still, uh, King of a Land, and this is through BMG Rights Management. So this is an epic body of work. It's more than a decade in the making. It's 12 new songs. They're full of extraordinary surprises, um, very unique and transport transportive. Yusuf's music, um, his words and melodies paint the vivid picture of a world which embraces the lost lands of truisms and stainless youth. Um, and it brings into touching distance his political storytelling, not political, poetical, I'm sorry, po poetical storytelling and invites you um, on a journey towards the gates of an alternative universe to that which is presently inhabited. I mean, I'm not, I'm, he's kind of losing me in this description here, but anyway, uh, where happy endings can possibly happen. All right, from the gloriously unexpected hard rock intensity of Pagan Run to the Tchaikovsky-inspired um, orchestration on how good it feels, uh, the delicate acoustic balladry of He is True, and to the driving Phil Spector goes gospel vibe of Highness, the traveling Wilburys styled rolling Americana groove of all nights, all days, and the ornate atmospheric um, Son of Mary, King of, a, King of a Land is an epic body of work either way. Uh, the album's artwork was created by Peter H. Reynolds, an award-winning child's book illustrator, and uh, as well as the cover art, uh, Peter has created illustrations for each song, uh, portraying the album's lyrical themes that feature in the record's accompanying booklet. So the vinyl and the booklet are housed in this gatefold sleeve. It's limited edition green vinyl. It is noted on the sticker. And um, yeah, this is, uh, if you're a fan of like Cat Stevens and his voice and you know, his, uh, his writing technique, well, I think you're gonna really like that. Okay, here's Thrice, the artist in the ambulance. Miscellaneous records is the uh, label. And you know, the question has to be asked, like, why would Thrice re-record a 20-year-old album, uh, let alone one that is, like, kind of widely beloved by their fan base and arguably their well, most well-known? So here's what the members of Thrice had to say in regards to Artist in the Ambulance Revisited. 
Uh, the core of the answer is that it simply sounded fun and we were curious. What would it sound like to play these old songs after 20 years of playing and singing under our belts? What would it sound like to strip things back a bit, to use more dynamic tones, to let things breathe a bit, etc.? At the end of the day, what we wanted was to record to the, we wanted this record to sound like for fans that it was somehow one of their old favorite records got a new lease on life and that it hadn't lost its soul or turned into something else. So we certainly hope you'll enjoy revisiting the artist in the ambulance. All right. So this comes on ultra clear vinyl and it is a limited edition of 6,000 pieces and uh, that's thrice. Okay. This is various artists support your local record label, Best of Ed Banger Records. And this also comes to us through Because Music. Um, Ed Banger Records celebrates its 20th anniversary in 2023. The famous and iconic French electro label proudly presents its first Best of compilation entitled Support Your Local Record Label, uh, Best of Ed Banger Records. It features 10 classic Club hits from 2003 to today, including uh, DANC, We Are Your Friends, Baby I'm Yours. I'm trying to look and see. Um, okay, so Justice is DANCE. Uh, Breakbot does Baby I'm Yours, Busy P. Uh, Yuffie Cassius is on here. Uh, Justice versus Simeon, MYD, Sebastian, Mr. Oizio. Oh, O-I-Z-O, O-Z-O, DJ Mendy. Anyway, it's a nice compilation. And uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for the talking part today. And uh, again, the list is posted down below. And it's got um, a few more titles on there and with prices. And um, everybody, I hope you find something that's uh, interesting and that you like that Queens of the Stone Age. Don't sleep on this. This thing is wonderful. So, um have a great weekend, and if you're a local yokel and you feel like coming by, we're open every single day from 10 till 4. And uh, so, uh, yeah, drop on in and say, say hi to the new guy. We got a new guy working now. So um, anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.